Hello everyone, it's Maggie Teacher Koi of Easy Math Tutorial. And for today's video, we will discuss the week 7 sa ating grade 8 mathematics. Okay? But before that, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so that you'll be updated on my videos. At i-follow po yung Facebook page po natin na Easy Math Tutorial at join our Facebook group DeepEd Teachers Files okay so our topic for this week is linear equation okay and real life problems involving linear equation so continuation po ito no nakaraang topic po natin last week week 6 okay so this is for grade 8 mathematics quarter 1 day 1 to 4 at naka milk base po tayo using the learning activity sheets school year 2020-2021 okay so our objectives for day one to find the equation of the line given any two points and for day two to find the equation of the line given slope and one point and for day three to find the equation of the line given slope and the y-intercept and for day four to solve real life problems involving linear equations into variables okay so let's start for day one okay so finding the equation of line given two points okay so two point form is one way to find the equation of a line so the formula is y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1 so this is the two point form formula kasi we will find the equation of a line given two points so ito po two point form formula where x sub 1 and y sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2 are the coordinates of point 1 and point 2 respectively so in finding the equation of the line given two points a sign which is the first point having coordinates of x sub 1 and y sub 1 and the second point which coordinates of x sub 2 and y sub 2 then substitute the coordinates to the formula so ibig sabihin nito binigyan ka ng two points or dalawang points so mag-assign ka kung ano yung uh, magawing first point mo or second point para ma-assign mo yung sino sa x sub 1 sino sa x sub 2 sino sa y sub 1 at saka si y sub 2 okay so for example we have here find the equation of the line <coughs> whose graph passes through the given points 2, 3, and 2, 1. The equation should be written in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so our points is we have here positive 3 and positive 2. And the second point is positive 2 and positive 1. So, um, we will assign this one kung sino yung point 1 and point 2. So, for this example, our point 1 is positive 3 and 2. So, our x sub 1 is positive 3 and our y sub 1 is positive 2 diba and for our point 2 ito si positive 2 and positive 1 so therefore ang ating x sub 2 ay si positive 2 at tapos ang yung ating y sub 2 is positive 1 okay kasi si x sub 2 at saka si x sub ano si x sub 2 at saka si y sub 2 is coordinates ng second point okay so now ano pong gagawin natin i-substitute po natin yan doon sa ating formula, the two-point form formula. Here, y minus y sub 1. So, sino po si y sub 1? Ito po yung y ng ating point 1, di ba? So, equal to y sub 2. Sino si y sub 2? Yung y natin sa point 2 minus y sub 1, which is y natin sa point 1, over x sub 2. x sub 2 is our x ng ating point 2 tapos minus x sub 1 which is the x of our point 1 times x minus x sub 1 which is the x of our point 1 okay so substitute so magiging ganito y minus 2 si 2 is our y sub 1 is equal to 1 which is our y sub 2 minus 2 which is our y sub 1 over 2 which is our x sub 2 minus 3 which is our x sub 1 times x minus 3 which is our x sub 1 so simplify y minus 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 that is negative 1 over negative 1 which is the result of 2 minus 3 diba? times 
x minus 3 or times the quantity x minus 3. So simplify. So y minus 2 is equal to positive 1. Positive 1 dahil negative 1 divided, divided by negative 1 is positive 1 times the quantity x minus 3. Okay, so simplify further. We have here y minus 2 is equal to I distribute natin si 1, di ba? 1 times x, that is x. Then 1 times negative 3, that is minus 3. Oh, distribution property. So simplify, y is equal to x minus 3 plus 2. Saan galing si 2? Dito sa kabila, di ba? Because we will rewrite this one into the form of y is equal to mx plus b. So lipat natin si 2 dito sa kabila. So we will add both sides by positive 2 para makancel out si Minus 2 dito sa left side Para maiwan si y Tapos we add positive 2 din sa kabilang side Sa, sa, sa kabilang side Kaya naging ganito Y is equal to x minus 3 plus 2 Okay, so simplify Y is equal to x minus 1 Bakit minus 1? Diba? Minus 3 plus 2 This is negative 3 plus 2 So this is negative 1 or minus 1 So this is now in a form of y Is equal to mx plus b So this is now our answer So all you have to do is, is substitute nyo lang yung value ni x at saka ni y doon sa ating formula kasi given two points, di ba? Mag-assign ka lang kung sino yung point 1 at saka si point para ma-identify mo kung sino si x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2 at saka si y sub 2. Okay, so that's for our day 1. So for our day 2, second way of finding the equation of a line is using slope and one point. The formula is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m. m is our slope, di ba? Times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Okay, see so slope and one point. So, the value of m is the slope of the line which contains the fixed point p or point 1 is equal to uh, point 1, x sub 1 and y sub 1, di ba? A linear equation whose slope and a point on this graph are given can be determined by substituting the given values of m to y is equal to mx plus b and solve for b. Okay, so para mas maintindihan po natin mabuti, we have here the example, find the equation of the line given slope of 5 and passes through the given point 3 and negative 2. So since slope and 1 point, so it means meron po siyang given na slope at saka given na isang point. Okay, so write the equation in a form of y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so Solution, let y is equal to mx plus b be the required equation. Okay, kasi ito po yung susundin natin, di ba? The slope interest form y is equal to mx plus b. The given point is positive 3 and negative 2. So, the value of y at x is equal to 3. Di ba? Value of y at x is equal to 3. Then, is negative 2 and m is equal to 5. Thus, using the y is equal to mx plus b, Substitute the values to solve B. Okay. So, ito na po siya. Value of Y at X is equal to 3 is negative 2. Di ba? So, kung positive 3 si X sa given point dito, di ba si Y is negative 2. So, yung negative 2 po natin, isubstitute natin dito kay Y. Di ba? This is Y is equal to MX plus B. So, negative 2 si Y is equal to M. Di ba? MX. Si Saan galing si 5? M. Di ba? Given slope 5. Okay. Then, X. 3. Saan galing si 3? Di ba? Ito. X is equal to 3. Ito. Given point 3. Ito si X. Tapos ito si Y negative 2. So, nagiging 5 times 3. Plus D. So, now, our missing variable is B. Okay. So, negative 2 is equal to 5 times 3 plus B. Okay. So, simplify. Negative 2 is equal to 15. Kasi 5 times 3 is 15. Plus B. Okay, then simplify. So, ang ginawa niya dito, uh, nilipat niya si 15 dito sa left side na ating equation para maiwan si B dito sa right side. ba? Para makuha natin yung value ni B. So, nagiging uh, negative 2 minus 15 is equal to B. So, ang ginawa niya dito, add both sides by negative 15 para makancel out si positive 15 dito sa right side. At Ma-add po natin si negative 15 dito sa left side. So, nagiging negative 2 minus 15 is equal to B. Then, simplify. Negative 2 minus 15 is negative 17 is equal to B. 
Okay, or simply as B is equal to negative 17. So therefore, the required linear equation is y is equal to 5x minus 17. Bakit nagiging ganito? Okay, y is equal to 5. Saan galing si 5? Si slope, di ba? Oh, tapos variable x minus 17. Saan galing si negative 17? Ito, yung b po natin or the y intercept, yung kinuha natin kanina. So, ito na po yung equation natin. y is equal to 5x minus 17 using the slope and one point. Okay, so I hope um, nakuha po natin. Okay, so next, we will go to day 3. Another method in finding equation of a line is slope intercept form. So, this is a third method kasi yung first method kanina, yung given two points, di ba? Yung second method natin kanina is yung slope and a point. Tapos yung third method, itong slope intercept form. So, it is written in a form of y is equal to mx plus b. This is a slope intercept form, di ba? Where m is the slope and its straight line graph and that b is the y intercept. Di ba? Si b is our y intercept in a slope intercept form. So, if we know both the slope and the y intercept of a line, we can always write its equation. Kung alam natin yung slope at saka si y intercept, makuha natin si equation, di ba? So, to write the, the linear equation whose slope and y intercept are given, simply substitute the given value of the slope to m and the given y intercept to b in y is equal to mx plus b. So, ibig sabihin, pag given the slope at saka given si y intercept, isubstitute na natin dito sa ating slope intercept form na y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, example. We have here two examples. Find the equation of the line whose slope and y intercept are given. First example is, ang slope ay positive 3. Tapos yung y-intercept is negative 5. So, since the slope is positive 3 and our y-intercept is negative 5, then using the y is equal to mx plus b, just simply substitute the values. Diba? Meron tayong m na 3. So, therefore, y is equal to m, which is 3, then x, our variable, minus 5, which is our y-intercept negative so, ganyan lang po ka-easy, di ba? Substitute the value of m and the value of y intercept. So, nakuha na po natin yung equation. So, y is equal to 3x minus 5. Okay? So, given the slope and given the um, y intercept, substitute directly the values sa ating slope intercept form na y is equal to mx plus b. Okay? For example, number 2, we have here, slope is negative 1. Negative 1. Tapos, ating y-intercept is positive 2. Substitute to the form y is equal, is equal to mx plus b. So, slope is negative 1. So, therefore, y is equal to negative x. Saan si 1? Di ba, automatic to pag walang numerical coefficient, automatic meron sang 1. So, this is negative. So, therefore, negative 1 plus our b, which is positive 2. So, kaya nagiging y is equal to negative x plus 2. Okay. So, that's it for our day 3. So, let's proceed to our day 4. Our day 4 is, after studying a linear equation into variables, let us take a closer look at their real-life problems involving linear equations into variables. So, now, punta na po tayo kung paano po mag-solve ng isang real-life problem. ba? Using the linear equation or involving linear equations into variables. Remember the steps in solving a problem. ba? Nung nakarang mga topics natin, um, uh, sa ating week 1, week 2, week 3, yung mga solving problems, ba? Um, may steps po doon. Okay. So, ibig sabihin po nito, basahing mabuti. ba? Intindihin yung binasa natin na or yung given na problem para po makuha natin kung ano po yung missing or ano po yung hinahanap. Okay? At saka ano po yung given. Okay? At saka malaman natin kung ano yung overview ng problem. Okay? For example, we have here, body invested 10,000 pesos in a venture and earns 500 pesos per month what will be his profit on the investment after one year so si buddy nag invest siya ng 10,000 pesos tapos maka earn po siya ng 500 pesos per month so from his 10,000 meron siyang 500 pesos per month po yung um, kita niya 500 pesos per month from his 10,000 pesos na pera so now for our solution we will make a table para mas makita po natin para mas maintindihan po natin okay so number of months gawin natin tong x represented by x number of months 
Then, yung profit po natin ay yung si Y. Okay, so ito na po siya. Number of months, which is our X, and our profit is Y. So, pag zero po yung month, so it means yung pera na is 10,000 lang, di ba? Kasi hindi po nag-move kasi zero yung month. Pagdating ng one month, may na-add na 500. Di ba? Yung kita niya. So, 10,000 plus 500, which is yung kita niya, after one month, so nagiging 10,500. Di ba? So, after two months, additional na naman na 500. So, nagiging 11,000. Di ba? Then, for three months, additional 500 na naman. So, nagiging 11,500. Then, pagdating ng four months, so another 500 na naman. So, from 11,500, may na-add na 500. So, nagiging 12,000. Di ba? So, therefore, the relation will be y is equal to 500x plus 10,000. Okay. Kasi, si x po is yung number of month natin. Si 500 is our, yung kita po niya. Di ba? Plus, our principal. Di ba? Yung, yung pera na in-invest niya, which is 10,000. So, it means, kung, kung, kung zero yung mass po natin, so 500 times x, so it means, yung pera is 10,000 lang. Di ba? Tapos, after one month, so 500 times 1, nagiging 10,500. Kasi, 500 times 1, that is 500, plus 10,000, so, 10,500. So, ang katanungan po dito is, what will be his profit on the investment after one year? So, ilang buwan ba yung isang taon? Di ba? 12 months in one year. So, magiging ganito. His profit after one year or 12 months is, Y is equal to 500X plus 10,000. Ito po equation natin. So, magiging Y is equal to 500. Yung X po natin ay 12 dahil 12 months. Di ba? Si X is yung months po natin. So, since 1 year, so 12 months, so nagiging 500 times 12 plus 10,000. Di ba? So, 500 times 12 ay 6,000. So, Y is equal to 6,000 plus 10,000. So, 6,000 plus 10,000, the result is 16,000. So, 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 ibig sabihin po nito, after one year, yung 10,000 ni Buddy ay magiging 16,000. Okay, dahil meron po siyang kita 500 per month. So, 500 times 12, which is 12 months in one year, the result is 6,000. Plus, yung principal po niya, yung pera na in-invest which is 10,000. So, 10,000 plus 6,000, the result is 16,000. Okay, so that's it. Once again, it's me, Teacher Koy of Isip Ma Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.